Hello everyone, it's been over a month since we were introduced to new characters that we only learned about in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. However, today I will tell you who we can expect to meet in the new fourth chapter of our favorite game. I think we should start with the most expected and predictable versions, and towards the end of the video I will surprise you more and more. I think that many of you like the story of Smiling Critters, and it's not fair that from all these monsters we were shown only Dog Day and Catnap. Let's talk about the ones that have a 99% chance of appearing in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4, and the first of the Smiling Critters will be Hoppy Hopscotch, of course. If you listen to her card, you know that she didn't die or show any signs of fear or being killed. She just wanted to play with us, but we still hear a scream at the end. I think our Hoppy Hopscotch just didn't get to the right height during the game and didn't land well when she fell, which means she's just a little injured and not much more. What prevents her from waiting for her wounds to heal a bit and appearing before us in Chapter 4? I think Hoppy Hopscotch is unlikely to be the main boss of the new chapter, just one of the ones we have to defeat in order to find the main villain of Chapter 4. Like Hoppy Hopscotch, there are several smiling critters that are bound to appear in the new chapter. And this is probably the least obvious option, but the new boss of Chapter 4 will be Crafty Corn. I think Mob Entertainment is considering that option. And objectively speaking, except for the fact that Crafty Corn liked to draw, we don't know anything else about her. Despite the fact that Picky Piggy almost directly said in one of her messages that she ate our unicorn, I'm sure it was just a little hint from the developers that one of these characters might end up in the new chapter of Poppy Playtime. Also, Crafty Corn is the last cardboard we get to listen to, and that also struck me as very odd. Maybe Crafty Corn will be the first boss we meet in Chapter 4. And before we get to the more interesting options, I'd like to tell you about one of the smiling critters that I told you about in the video, and of course, it's Picky Piggy. This piggy makes many of us marvel at how strong her hunger is, that she is willing to eat even her friends to get enough. And from that, we realize how bloodthirsty this character is. And I don't think the mob would want to lose such a specimen. Another very important nuance is that almost all of the smiling critters want nothing to do with the prototype's plans, except for two. One of them is already familiar to us, Catnap, and the second such character is our ever-hungry Picky Piggy. And it is Picky Piggy who can become a replacement for Catnap in the fourth chapter. She won't be as valuable as Catnap, but she will have a very strong influence on the new chapter. I think Picky Piggy will be with us for half of the game, and we will have to fight her about 60% of the time. And considering how bloodthirsty she is, I think Picky Piggy will be one of the hardest bosses in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4. Now it's time to talk about one of the most anticipated characters we haven't seen yet, and I'm talking about the very cute dinosaur Brawn. Many people were sure that Brawn would appear in Chapter 3, because in the first teaser trailer after the severed body of Mommy Longlegs, we were shown Brawn's head. But as we already know, the main antagonist of Chapter 3 is not Brawn at all, and I'm sure Brawn is the most desirable character we've seen so far. And it's probably time to tell us more about this dinosaur, especially since his life story in Playtime Co. is very fascinating and it would be interesting to know how it will affect Brawn in the future. In case you don't know, Thomas Clark, a 59-year-old full-time employee of Playtime Co., was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. After receiving the diagnosis, he willingly volunteered to be part of the Bigger Bodies experiment. Scientists placed his organs, eyes, and brain inside a brawn toy in what became known as the 1199 experiment. He was severely disoriented and did not know where he was or what had happened to him. When 1199 was introduced to the other experiments, they immediately realized that he was not an orphan forced to be an experimenter. As a result, Boxy Boo almost completely ate his vocal cords and thyroid gland before the research team intervened to stop the experiments from killing Braun. It took 12 hours of surgery to stabilize Braun's condition. He was then placed in solitary confinement to protect him from further experiments. And since we've already talked about Boxy Boo, I think it's time to give this character some attention. Because he, like Braun, is the monster that a lot of people want to see in the new chapter. Boxy Boo was one of the characters we see on that very ominous tape, The Hour of Joy. Boxy Boo is one of the main monsters whose death we haven't seen yet. Yes, in the previous versions of the game we saw the death of characters like Huggy Waggy, Mommy Longlegs, and of course the main character of the third part of Poppy Playtime, Catnap. And we shouldn't forget his former friends from Smiling Critters who died at his hands. So for now, Boxy Boo is one of the few surviving characters we haven't seen yet. So we can expect him to appear in all likelihood. My opinion about Boxy Boo is that I would be happy to see him in the new version of the game if only the developers could introduce him into the story and make his existence in the game as interesting as possible. And now let's talk about less obvious options, namely that our new hero will be Catnap. Despite everything, we cannot exclude the possibility that we will be introduced to the already deceased Catnap. Of course, he will not be one of the main villains as it was in the third chapter, 
but as a secondary character, he is ideal. We all know that the prototype killed Catnap, but this amazingly horrible cat is so well-liked that I think it is necessary to make him a reference in the new chapter. But how will that happen? I'm sure that Chapter 4 will reveal the biggest secret of the Playtime Corporation, and we'll finally find out who the prototype is. But it will be at the end. But before that, we will fight with some bosses in the window or somewhere else we will see Catnap, who will help us, like in the third chapter. But I think everyone understands that this help will not be for the sake of our salvation, but just so that we can finally meet the prototype. That would be very interesting. And talking about Catnap, where can we get away from such a character as Prototype? And you will tell me that we have seen him in the past versions of the game. In the first chapter, he was in the form of a reference on the tape. In the second part of the game, he stole the remains of Mommy Longlegs. And in the third part, he was the main villain who obeyed Catnap and forced all the others to do the same. Maybe in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4, we will see him in full form, and we will see what the sacrifices of all the monsters led to. Of course, there is a theory that Prototype is actually kind and wanted to free all the monsters from the abuse of the Poppy Factory workers, but then how can we explain the murder of his main subordinate by Catnap? Besides the above-mentioned characters, the developers of Mob Entertainment can add completely new monsters that we have never seen before, as for example, in the third chapter they added Miss Delight, and maybe it will be one of the old forgotten characters that we could see in the form of a drawing or a toy. We can only wait for the release of the game trailer of the new part of the game to dispel all our assumptions. I have already mentioned the long-legged family several times. Of all of them, we have seen only Mommy Long Legs, but the rest of the family members in the previous parts of the game we did not have a chance to see. Even though we know that the prototype took Mommy Long Legs' body at the end of Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, I'm sure he's doing it for a reason. Maybe his main goal in life is to resurrect all these monsters or reincarnate them into more powerful characters, and if that's the case, I'm sure that Mommy Longlegs will appear as a supporting character in the new chapter. Well, Mommy Longlegs isn't the only member of her family. Baby Longlegs may also appear in the new chapter, and considering the fact that we haven't seen him yet, I'm sure his appearance is almost certain. But as what kind of character? Whether he'll be positive or negative is hard to say. On the one hand, his mother died because of us, but there is also a prototype who took her body and who knows what he is doing with it. However, I'm more confident that Baby Longlegs will be on the side of the prototype, because as we know the prototype is very good at subduing monsters, and it's very easy for a grief-stricken Baby Longlegs to make Baby Longlegs think that we killed his beloved mother. I think if he does appear, we will see him closer to the end of the fourth chapter, maybe even before we meet the prototype himself. There is another very interesting character that we know as one of the members of Smiling Critters, and we're talking about Kickin' Chicken. I'm interested in him because he's the only character who's directly talked about trying to get out of this place. I don't think he's going to be introduced as the boss, but as a secondary character telling us his story, I'd love to see him. And a little bit about the date, when we will find out how right I was. The development of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 took about 8 months, considering that many animators left the project at the most important time for mob entertainment. And since Chapter 3 showed us a whole new level, not only in terms of visuals, but also in terms of story in general very high level, then Chapter 4 should be, if not better, than on the same level. However, I am sure that Mob Entertainment will definitely make the game much better, which means that since the release of the third chapter should be about a year, maybe a little less, so we should definitely not expect Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 to be released before 2025. And that's the end of our video. I wish you all patience and say goodbye.